members of a speech community are community of practice within a speech community are networks within community of speech they take part in different speech activities for example lecturing is speech activity speech is involved in it gossiping is speech activity joking arguing small talk purposeless talk that is called small talk so all these involve speech that's why we call them speech activities so here to clarify this concept of speech activities we have a short talk write short notes on these activities and when you write notes on these activities you will write what is the role of speech in all of these activities same speech activity can have different features in different contexts argument in academic community versus argument at dinner table at both places we are doing the same speech activity that is arguing but if this argument is among academics that would be totally different from that argument which is being conducted among family members at a dinner table they are second the first feature was that same speech activities can be taken differently in different contexts and second they are culture specific argument in one culture is conflict argument that is understood as argument in one culture may be conflict in some other culture democracy for example if you are part of a democratic setup and culture or country that would favor argument but if you are part of monarchy where monarchs are kings rule no democracy to so their conflict of talk agreement is taken as conflict of talk in democracies argument is liked difference of opinion is respected welcomed so this is how same speech activity becomes different in culture even same talk may be classified differently professionals talk about business it is shop talk and if someone reveals private information this talk is called gossip now in both cases we are doing private talk but if men do it we classify it as shop talk shop refers to business serious talk business talk and gossip this is also done in private in absence of some other person we talk about that person and we reveal something that may damage reputation of that person so if the same activity is done by women it would be called gossip because usually men think when women sit separate and they talk they are damaging reputation honor of the man if so every community will organize talk according to its perception this classification of talk is based on gender ideology now see when you say that men do shop talk you think that men always talk serious things 
their topics are business and politics and other such serious things and this is our perception our ideology that we think that women never talk about serious issues whenever they are together their husband and uh, uh, topics like that which relate with personal relations they are doing that these things are called gossip so how we classify the same speech activity it depends on our ideology and if we are doing this on the basis of gender so it means we are classifying these things on the basis of gender ideology so we conclude on the basis of this that speech activities are organized on the basis of our gender ideology